Hi, I'm Peter Quintel with Dennis and & Yachting, and today I'd like to take you on board Snow Ghost, a 2018 Hatteras M90 Penacera. This yacht specifically won 2018 Rob Report's Best of the Best Award, and today I'm going to show you why. One of my favorite features on Snow Ghost is the atrium galley. It's absolutely massive with tons of natural light. Overhead of the galley is a large smart glass ceiling that allows the owners to select based on the time of day how much natural light actually comes through. Another great feature I love about Snow Ghost is her wide, safe side decks. The wide decks and high freeboard allow safe access from the bow to the stern without concern even underway. The Hatteras M90 basically states the yacht is 90 feet. However, this yacht has the optional hydraulic swim platform, which gives you a length overall of 97 feet. Mounted on the hydraulic swim platform is a Novarania DL460 tender with a 90 horsepower Yamaha outboard. Your shore power connections are located on both the port and starboard sides. Just off center is a transom shower where you can rinse off the salt after you come in from a dip. Center line on the transom is your crew cabin and engine room access. Stepping down into the crew area to the port side, you have over and under bunk beds. Opposing this cabin is a crew head with separate shower. Forward of the crew head is the captain's quarter. Finishing off the crew area, moving forward, you'll notice to the port side is a crew galley. Moving forward of the crew, I'd like to take you into another area I really like, which is the engine room. She's equipped with twin Caterpillar C32 1900 horsepower engines. She's also equipped with twin 40 kilowatt color generators. The upgraded Caterpillar engines provide you with an effortless 20 knot cruise with a top speed of 24 knots. Next thing we're going to look at is the aft deck. Center line on the aft deck, you'll notice a table that can seat and dine up to eight people. Connecting both sides of this table is a hinged leaf for additional dining. Facing forward on the starboard side, there's a large wet bar complete with sink, ice maker, and refrigerator. On the port side, there's another set of molded stairs that take you up to the flybridge that we'll come back and visit later. Below the flybridge stairs is a hidden stairwell to access the crew area and engine space. Before we head inside, I'd like to take you for a walk up to the bow on the starboard side. I really love how this bow area is laid out. She has seating for up to 10 and an additional sunbed area just forward of the dinette. Hidden under the bow sun pads is an abundance of storage and access to your ground tackle. From here, let's take a look at the interior, starting in the massive salon. This salon is flooded with natural light, which is where the Panacera got her name. In this area, you can easily accommodate up to eight guests. Now I want to turn your attention to the port side to point out her fold-out hydraulic balcony. This is a custom feature that really makes this Hatteras M90 Panacera stand out. Forward on the port side in the salon, you'll notice a large buffet, complete with a clear ice maker, refrigerator, and storage for your crystal. Continuing forward towards the galley, you'll notice the internal bridge access stairs. We'll come back to these in a little while. Finishing off your salon area is a formal dining space. On the forward bulkhead, the storage for all your flatware and stemware. Looking aft from the dining area, you'll notice the scale and volume of this space. She's finished in a stunning rosewood millwork package. Before entering the galley, just to the right, there's a designer dayhead. Entering into the galley, looking forward, there's a large built-in dinette. To the left of the dinette, there's a built-in wine cooler. The 
entire working areas of the galley are finished in a custom quartz countertop. Contrasting this quartz finish is ebony cabinetry. The majority of the appliances in this galley are manufactured by Miele, starting with this full-size dishwasher. On the port side of the island is a built-in microwave convection oven. On the aft bulkhead of the galley is a coffee maker, a range hood, four burner induction cooktop, an oven, and a built-in sub-zero fridge freezer. As previously mentioned, the overhead has a smart glass ceiling. Using this digital fader, you can adjust the volume of natural light coming into the galley. This feature is one of several hundred controls that's tied into the ship's operating system known as HATCON. HATCON allows you to control everything on the vessel from your AV equipment to your lighting to your HVAC. From here, let's check out the guest accommodations on board. Snoko's features four staterooms, all with en-suites. Our first stop is our aftmost cabin, which is a full beam master. This yacht features a 22 and a half foot beam, which you can really feel while standing in the master suite. The master features a centerline king-size bed. On the starboard side, there's built-in cabinet storage, and at the foot of the bed, there's a large built-in TV. Port side, there's a built-in dressing table with pop-up vanity. The master ensuite is absolutely stunning and features a large walk-in shower. Just forward of the master, there's a breakfast nook complete with refrigerator. Leaving the master, let's move forward and check out the guest cabins, the first of which is on the starboard side. This cabin features side-by-side -side twin berths that have the ability to slide. Just across the hall is another cabin that mirrors this cabin. However, this is set up with the berths slid together. Continuing forward down the hallway on the port side, there's a walk-in laundry room complete with stackable washer and dryer. The fourth and final stateroom found on board is located in the bow. This is the VIP cabin. From here, follow me up the stairs to the main deck. We're going to head up the internal stairs on the port side to the flybridge. First stop in the flybridge, we're going to visit her modern helm. These triple bonding screens are tied into the HATCON ship system as well as your Garmin navigation system. All three of these screens can be custom configured to your preferences. On the left side of the helm, you have a pair of remote spotlight controls. Just below that is your autopilot control, as well as your hydraulic bow and stern thruster controls. Directly above your wheel is a flush-mounted HATCON screen. Just to the right of the helm is your start and stop engine controls, as well as your caterpillar controls and CAT 360 joystick. Facing the helm are two captain seats with additional L-shaped seating on the port side. Next, let's take a look at the bridge wet bar which is located just aft of the helm. It features a sink, isotherm ice maker, as well as a refrigerator. On the outboard side of the bar is a Caterpillar 360 joystick control. This is one of two wing stations on the flybridge. Continuing aft on the flybridge, there's a large outdoor dining area that can seat up to eight guests. Opposing this dinette on the starboard side is a 12 foot long built in sofa. The entire flybridge is covered with a hard top coupled to a full enclosure with bridge air conditioning. Leaving the enclosed flybridge area, let's step out onto the upper deck area. On the port side of the upper deck, you'll notice a large cabinet that features twin Kenyan electric grills and a refrigerator. 
This entire upper deck area is protected by a custom sail shade awning. I'd like to thank you for joining me on today's walkthrough of Snow Ghost. I really appreciate your time. If you like more information or a personal tour, please contact me anytime.